Welcome back to the channel, and today I'll be showcasing a showdown between the Iron Knife and the Norad Knife. Due to the undeniable similarities, I got a hold of the Norad so I could see what the flipper was all about. In addition, I wanted to find out could the Norad stand next to a build with a lot of the same characteristics and hold its own, which brings me here. I'll start with, in their closed positions, the pair similarities are apparent, but when open, they are surely undeniable. So who was the first, the chicken or the egg? The NORAD's overall length is 7 and 875 thousandths of an inch, while the iron comes in at 7.5 inches overall. The NORAD's deceivingly slim frame is ultra thin, coming in under a half an inch, 43 hundredths of an inch to be exact, and the iron's handle thickness being 55 hundredths of an inch. And I said deceivingly because despite having inserts, aggressive internal milling, external show side milling, amongst other efforts, the NORAD still comes in at 5.5 ounces. The iron, having interning milling restricted to the lock side and being wider than the NORAD in every aspect, comes in at 4.8 ounces. This due to the NORAD's frame being stainless steel and the irons being titanium. The NORAD's handle length is 4.5 inches and the irons is 4.25 inches. Looking at both handles, if you glance at the hardware and placement, you guessed it, the exact same. Only the iron sports T8s across the board, lock and show side. While the NORAD's pivot is T8 and the body screws are T6s. The NORAD's black screws do match, they just don't add any personality or pop to the build. On the other hand, this variant of the iron has blue anno titanium, offered in different colors. But honestly, anyone could strip them plain, then polish or reanodize to a color of choice. The NORAD's backspacer is pretty much bare bone minimum. This is surely a movie I've seen before, nothing new here. And honestly, this is the same spacer and pivot as my $25 mini Natrix. In addition to the run of the mill pocket clip, which everyone speaks about Kershaw using recessed clip screws, but I'm guessing everyone got so excited, no one told them to mill to a depth where the damn clip itself is recessed. What's the use of screws if the clip gets snagged first? The iron's clip is 3D sculpted, and at first glance, I thought it may cause some problems when putting the iron in pocket, but I was wrong. It's very functional, just as with the NORADs. It's just I feel the NORADs clip catching from time to time on less snug pockets for the most part. The iron's clip is right hand tip up only, while the NORADs is right and left. The NORAD sports three carbon fiber inserts and definitely low grade weave carbon fiber, which has adhesive or epoxy, whatever was used to hold them there, seeping out like the factory used too much. And all around the edge, they are dinged up with big gaps and marred with scratches from install. The iron is sporting my Carter with a seamless transition to and from again and again titanium to my Carter. And in addition, the iron said by many lacks any lock side inlay, which I don't mind, but some say it's an unfinished afterthought, which is all personal preference. And what I will definitely deem an afterthought is the NORAD's run-of-the-mill glass-filled backspacer. A rendition to the Natrix spacer with some mods. The worst of which is adding the pattern to the stainless steel frame, creating an area that is knocking on the gates of hot spot heaven, just pleading to be let in. The Iron's 3D mill backspacer has only four jimp lines, creating more of a raised strip of cubes that provide contrasting grip more than digging into the skin. And then the spacer also drops down, creating a hidden lanyard hole. The NORAD's 3.5 inch blade is a drop point comprised of D2 with a satin finish and a coated thumb groove. The iron sports a 3.25 inch spear point made of M390 hand rub belt ground satin finish and both blades are flat ground. And both knives have jimping along the spine of the blade. But again, the NORAD missed this mark. And when I naturally place my thumb, it doesn't make contact. The iron is better in its placement on the spine. The iron offers only one means of deployment whether it is a flipper or a thumb stud, they are not offered as one, which isn't the case on the NORAD. You can finger flick the groove with any and all fingers, and the minimize tab can also get the job done. As for the iron, the thumb stud variant looks more like thumb platforms, but nonetheless are very functional and consistent if you know the correct angle required for deployment. The NORAD's thumb groove is aggressively sharp around the entire edge, never mentioned or seen on any ads, or by the company for that matter as a means of deployment and maybe because it shreds any and all things it comes in contact with period a satin finished spidey hole couldn't hold a candle to this thumb groove and the flipper tab is pretty little not an issue at all and it works actually it has the blade flying out but again something wrong the lock release is milled thin and extra sharp extremely uncomfortable to disengage 
and then the area directly adjacent to the lock bar, again, is super sharp. And to be honest, I really can't feel it in hand, but I need to know why is it left there anyway? The lockup on the iron is 20 to 25% maybe, whereas the NORADS is 45 to 50 for sure. But right out of the box, the blade centering was off quite a bit. The action on the NORAD was lackluster, so I opened it up, polished the pivot and the pivot pass on the blade stock, polished off this weird finish from the KVT track area, cleaned it out, put oil in it, and now she works a bit smoother. The iron on the other hand is plug and play since day one. In conclusion, the NORAD didn't and never stood a chance. The similarities clearly stop at their looks, and that's just it. And to me, the NORAD comes off more like a novelty buy. On paper, it looks pretty good, but it lacks the functionality due to almost every edge having its own edge. And it was just a totally missed mark and a huge disappointment. So with that, please comment down below if you own a NORAD and or an iron. To you, which one is better? And to everyone else, which knife between the two would you want? Please rate, share, and subscribe. Signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.